All aboard for a celebration of railroad workers in Council Bluffs today, inspiring the next generation of locomotive lovers. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Feely. Railroad Days returns to the Union Pacific Railroad Museum in Council Bluffs, and our Joey Safchik was there. She joins us live. Joey? Sarah, thousands showed up to learn about all things trains and tracks today. And for some, it was more than just a day at the museum. As model trains chug ahead, a thing. Railroad Days gives us a glimpse of local history. Events like this allow us to kind of explore the context of what's going on today because history does matter. It started way back in 1863 when Abraham Lincoln named Council Bluffs Mile Zero for Union Pacific. This is huge for our city. No other city in the United States is Mile Zero for Union Pacific. For some, choo -choo. the history is personal. We came out out today because my dad, he passed away a couple years ago, actually two years to this day. Shimada Johnson wants four-year-old Jeremiah to appreciate his grandpa's locomotive lifestyle. My pa used to work on the cranes. He's excited. He wants to see everything. People like Jeremiah's papa set today's celebration in motion. We're talking about who are these people from the very beginning forward who have constructed our nation's railroad and truly built America and that's what we celebrate here today. Railroad workers dominated headlines this month when a strike threatened to derail the supply chain. And I think that current events are just underscoring how important railroads still are to our nation's economy. As for Jeremiah, he might just be on track to follow in his papa's footsteps. I just hope that he gets to see um, some of the pictures up close of the train. So then that way when we show him the pictures of his papa and the trains, then he can kind of put the two and two memories together. Very cool. Trains are cool indeed. The museum curator says the event exceeded their expectations and that every theme in railroad history is still relevant today. Reporting live, Joey Safchik, KETV News Watch 7.